Hello again, it's Corey from Trains in the Valley. So it's that time again, I just got a collection of stuff in. Uh, before it hits the shop, I want to show you guys what I got. So if you see anything that's interesting, certainly let me know. Alright, we got some undecorated passenger cars. Uh, everything's River Rossi. Now they have horn hooks. Um, this one here, this one's knuckle couplers. It's a nice uh, a post office car. And then the passenger car on the bottom, it has a horn hook on this side, and you can probably see this. It has a knuckle coupler, but I don't really think it's operating. I think it's just for show, but you guys can decide that. But anyone that's into Katie's or anything like that, you know, it's an easy upgrade to get what you need it to do. All right, let's keep going. Okay, here we got some buildings now. Um... This is a really nice piece. Yeah, that's nice. Got another really cool, cool building. We got um, some wiring and stuff like that. So, and again, I, I didn't. Everything's like you're seeing it like almost before I am. I just kind of collected, so I don't know what everything does, but I can definitely try to find out for you guys if you're interested. You can tell this is wooden. A lot of this was, uh, seems like it was custom built. It's a nice little house here. It's pretty cool. This got if this would fit your era. There's some nice character here. Another simple, simple house, but very cool. Here we got some Bowser kits, G O A hoppers, Pennsylvania, Redding. Um, everything looks really good here. Um, yeah, pretty self-explanatory with these. I'm seeing a lot of different numbers, so if you guys are looking for any specific number or just want some more cars you know what to do. Alright, here's some uh, cars from LBF, their kits. I don't know much about them, but they look nice. I'm not sure. It, it sort of reminds me of the ENC shop stuff that I got a long time ago. I don't know if there's any relation there. I'm probably far off, but just taking a educated guess, it sort of makes me think of their stuff. But yeah, some Conrail and GLE. Here I got a bunch of flat cars. Um, it looks like Lifelike might have had like a circus at some point. Uh, that's what it seems like. Lifelike circus and circuit special. They're a little beat up, so if you guys are looking some looking to uh, get some flats on your layout, do some upgrades and stuff, I'll be doing these pretty cheap. Okay, here's some uh, Walther snow plows, Russell snow plow. Um, we got Wisconsin Central, uh, Main Central, and we got a Yellow Pennsylvania also. And also on this pile, we got a uh, Walther's Jordan spreader. We got Great Northern, and here's a Union Pacific looks untouched everything's there it's quite a kit that's for sure I know I had a friend looking for one but yeah I wish I had the Pennsylvania Jordan spreader but it's not how it worked out but if you're watching this and the Union Pacific or the Great Northern looks good I got them finally <laughs> all right here's some 48 foot containers from Athern um, Burlington Northern Santa Fe uh, I definitely have a lot more containers coming, so stick around. Here I got some end scale stuff. We got a nice schoolhouse. Here's a switch tower. Looks like there's a horse and buggy flowing around in there too. I don't know if that came with it or not. Got end scale street light lamp. Track nails, of course. Pretty sure this is like an easy railer for end scale. Not sure uh, who made that, if it's Bachman or not, I don't know. And here we got a pure set. It's still sealed, so 
should be good. All right, next up is a bunch of freight cars. Got a Boston Main uh, work truck. Or, I don't know why I said work truck, but <laughs> you know what I mean. It's early yet. Uh, we got a GT box car there. Those are classic. Old BN. I'm really liking BN myself. If you saw my layout, it's growing in Burlington Northern lately. Penn Central. UP with the load there. Penn Central. And yeah, th these cars, they're always they're always cheap. You don't have to worry. I don't gouge anyone for prices. Um, a lot of my cars, I actually don't know the prices on these yet, but we'll we'll do some deals. But um, yeah, I've already got cars in my shop for two or three bucks already. So these are probably more on that level. There's, you know, some stuff missing here or there. a car I don't know if I've seen before. It has a... I guess it's actually not supposed to come apart. Let's see, what is this? Okay, it's a Gilbert. Yeah, I don't believe I came across that car before. I got another Perina. Alright, the Monon. Pretty cool. Here's one I didn't come across yet. The uh, side dumping Pennsylvania. That's nice. Alright, Michigan Central. It's a pretty cool car. Hydro Cushion, Milwaukee Road. It's pretty neat. That's another one that I have not come across so far in my railroad journeys. My Southern. And then Southern Railroad. So got two more. Looks like they'll need a little work. Unfortunately, they are, are really cool. But no trucks. But if you guys know what you're doing, it could be a good project. And Santa Fe. Alright, let's get more stuff. Alright, here I got more that are on the lower end of things, but still a couple standouts. This is nice. Redding. Looks like they were in the basement for a little bit. <laughs> uh, Borden's milk tank car. That's pretty cool. Um, but yeah, these are definitely on the the lower end of the spectrum. Trust me, the good stuff's coming. But that's, that's pretty neat. You never know what people are looking for, so I don't turn anything down. Okay, here's a few more freight cars, sort of in the lower end of the spectrum. Uh, I came across this. This is interesting. It has a tag on it that says Fleischmann on it. I believe that's how you say it. I'm, I'm, uh, my uh, forefathers are from Germany, so hopefully I'm not letting them down by mispronouncing that. Um, yeah. This ore car is cool. I might have to inspect that one a little bit on my layout. We'll see. Uh, this is interesting. Uh, another tag on this one saying American Flyer. And it's tin. Metal. I mean, yeah, that's interesting. It doesn't have any guts to it. Maybe it didn't need it because it's it has some good weight to it. I did not. I know Lionel experimented with HO and now they're back in it, but I did not know about American Flyer HO. That's bizarre. Well, that's cool. I've never seen that Western Maryland before. Oh, it looks like it's a Marks. Oh, these have tags on them. I don't know. You never know where people round this stuff up. I've had a couple of those cars before. Yeah, we're again into some interesting Euro type couplers here. But again, have no fear. It's on the lower end of the spectrum here. Okay, more stuff to come. Oh, wait, I got one more. Got a ratting here and a couple couple pieces here. Um, yeah, and what I do with stuff like this, like here, this guy's missing a truck. 
you know, um, unfortunately my time's limited, so I usually just end up letting that stuff go for, you know, a dollar, fifty cents. So, if you guys like projects, you can score big at Trains in the Valley. Alright, here we get some Atlas cars. Um, CRP, Jersey Central. We got Lehigh, New England. Another one of the same CRP cars. And another one. If it doesn't bother you that they're the same number, that's great. And we got a Redding car here too. Alright, we got some trailers. CP rail. Nice roadway. Has some decent weight to it. Another roadway font. Alright, I like that. Schneider. Pennsylvania. And we got another Pennsylvania here. And this is a pretty cool car. We got a U.S. Mail. Yeah, that's nice. Yeah, a little early for my era, so they're definitely on the table. Alright, we got the Conrail. That's a nice one there. I didn't see that one before. Illinois Central. It's pretty cool. Union Pacific. It's a sharp looking uh, trailer there. LNN piggyback. The Milwaukee Road. Another LNN. So Chicago Northwestern Falcon Service. It's pretty neat. And AMP. Wee. <laughs> Not sure about that one. That's interesting. All right, I got a green elevator here. Interstate fuel and oil. Red Wing Milling Company. That one's still sealed, but I'm assuming they're all new and not put together. Here we have a pier add-on. That's pretty cool. I was watching YouTube videos of ships and everything. It's just like incredible. Like the container ships just keep getting bigger and bigger. Railroad car float. That's pretty cool. All right, homes of yesterday and today. And we have some more. Here we have a Proto 2000, Moore & Company Warehouse. You know, that, that's perfect, even if it doesn't fit your exact era, you know, like, I know you guys can get so creative with kits and kick bashing and all that stuff, so it's just perfect for the beat up buildings that we see around us today. And I got more uh, buildings coming later. Just a side note, I never knew ADM had their own switchers. That's kind of cool. I just built an ADM car and I'm doing a video on that soon. So just a little bit of a side note. I'm pretty excited about this stuff. We got Chicago Northwestern. These are uh, by Walther's with knuckle couplers. Of course I like this. That's cool. Conrail. You know, I never knew Redding hat. Uh, I, I've never seen it before. That's really cool. I didn't know they were had auto carriers. That's a nice looking car right there. And another duplicate of the Chicago Northwestern TTX. Alright, here's some roundhouse kits. We got South Branch Valley. Very nice Southern. I'm a fan of that. Got the Rock. 
rail box. Another rail box number. Chicago Northwestern. Not even sure about that. Terminal Railway, Alabama, State Docks. Not familiar with that. Yeah, here's something I'm very familiar with. Burlington Northern. Very nice. All right. We'll keep going. Here I got some Acurel kits. Um, they seem to be in progress. Mostly complete. I think the one just needs a couple parts attached yet. There's some redding here. But looks like it's all there. I really like Acurel. Um, I've been dealing with them with new products. And I just got to say, they're fantastic. Really good customer service. Um, and their turnaround on new products is like really great hence they're made in the USA so yeah Acurel is awesome so if you guys never put together an Acurel uh, kit before I got a video coming out about uh, an ADM car that I just put together and I'm really happy it looks great it runs great it's just awesome alright I might have to check that out make sure that's operating but we got that from Lifelight alright we got some Bachman cars um, probably from about when I was a kid. Well, that one's a little, little older, but the white boxes, I remember them going into Boscov's. But now you gotta go to Chains in the Valley to get your stuff. <laughs> no, that's how I got started. I went to Boscov's and I paid like, you know, no offense, but I paid like twice the amount that you'd pay for, I got a train set, and like at my shop, it's like half that price, the same train set. That was the beginning of my inspirations to get started here. Alright, UP. And again, those are, don't expect to pay a ton for them, so if you're interested in upgrading these cars or whatever, just let me know. All right, here's one you don't see every day. Lionel, the pickle factory. Thought that was pretty neat. Here's a real beast. Dockside crane set. That's really cool. Trainscapes. That's really neat. Okay, here's some more Walders cars. We got kits. Here's a flower, GACX. An assembled Penn Central, really, really nice sharp car. Burlington Northern, covered hopper. Another Penn Central. I'll show you guys this one, but it's already sold. My wife loves Great Northern, and her eyes lit up as soon as I uncovered it. So you'll probably be seeing that on the layout that's right I got a cool wife we play trains together now it's really awesome alright Union Pacific alright so some nice cars there with much more to come okay this is cool for 20 foot trailers we got K-Line if you guys got the trucks this is perfect another K-Line here Hyundai and an APL. Alright, then we got some containers to go with it. There's an APL. Trident. I've never even seen that one before. Tipuk? Is that how you say that? I'm not sure. I'll probably mispronouncing a lot of stuff today. Ned Lloyd. Jalco, or Jalco, <laughs> I'm sure, and uh, GE Genstar, is that right? Yeah. Okay, so some 20 foot containers. Okay, next I got a bunch of trailers. We'll try to get through them. Got Western Pacific here. 
Another Western Pacific. And another. Yang Ming. Alright, that's the Santa Fe there. It's a, it says APL on it. ITEL. NYK. It's van trailer, strict leasing. CP. It's a nice. Nice container there. Matson. Transamerica distribution. Another one of these guys. OOCL. UP. And this one is tropical. Alright, another one of my favorites. We got some high cube cars. The big guys. Pennsylvania. NYC. Detroit. Penn Central. Erie Lackawanna. Rock. Western Pacific. This one's built. You can see some weathering on it. It's not bad. Alright. PRR. That one's sealed up yet. I know this one will go good. Southern. And another Penn Central. And Chicago Northwestern. Alright, here I got some different uh, box cars. They're all AHM. The yellow Union Pacific. Another one, same number. DT and I, we got two of them. And the Southern Pacific cars, I got three of them all together. And I'm pretty sure, yes, they're all the same number. Okay, I got some vehicles. We got All American Plumbing. This is a Atlas. Got Jeep Wrangler. CSX work truck. Tractor trailer, DC transportation. CSX truck, that's cool. And we got a taxi cab from Atlas. And one more, we got John Deere. Got bulldozer here. It's pretty cool. Alright, I got some main central cars, and all these are a different number, so two numbers all together, but four total. Alright, here we got more kits. We got MKT, here's another number, Western Maryland, Pennsylvania, SP, there's a nice one. And another Pennsylvania. Also got an Erie Caboose here. Got some stuff for the Redding fans. And 
another number of reading. Got a boss car that's weathered. A caboose not assembled. All right, we got Lehigh Valley here. MP cushion car. It's pretty cool. A BNO uh, high cube. And whoa, guys, taking off on me. Uh, DL and W. All right, here's some more. We got a Leah Valley car. Nice brown brown Conrail. We got Redding. Another Redding car. Yeah, another Redding. And an RDG hopper. All right. Redding car. Last time I had one of them. And it does have a load here. Last time I had one of them, it lasted like two hours in my shop. That's why I give you guys the heads up. Western Maryland. Got a Redding caboose. Looks like it was, yep, it was decaled, but looks pretty good though. LV with a load. Got a Redding car with a load. And another. This is really nice. Oh man, didn't want that to happen. <laughs> We're good. We're good all as well. I did not expect that. That was completely unexpected. <laughs> but yeah, that's what I was going to say. This is a very delicate car. So I'm glad I didn't just have an issue there. But yeah. Yeah, nice coil car. Yeah, even like the the steps. I have a saying, you know, the more delicate the car, the more it's worth. So that's a nice one. I'm not sure who did that, but I can look it up. All right, here's a Redding with some loads on there. Pennsylvania with some tanks, that's cool. Be a no caboose. And a Pennsylvania caboose. Alright. We're getting there, but we still got more to go. Pennsylvania caboose. Main Central. Jersey Central. Nice colorful car. Alright, Johnson Wax. Hydro Cushion. Got Pennsylvania. It's also weathered. You can probably see there's some lines on it there. Got Redding. It's another nice colorful car, Evergreen. And finally, we got a GT. Alright, here's some various freight cars. We also got a U.S. Navy. There's a nice Atlas Southern covered hopper. Yeah, that's a really nice one. And, I thought this was pretty cool. Just like in real life, you can see they patched it from the rock. I'm sure this was a custom job, but I'm not 100% sure, you never know. But there's some more freight. Alright, we got Western Pacific. Another scheme here. Two different numbers in that scheme. So if there's any Western Pacific fans out there, you guys are set. Now there was a ton of it. Alright, awesome. Awesome, uh, colorful car. That's what I like. Like Lana. I know those are popular. Another Erie Caboose. 
I know we don't use Caboosus these days, but, um, well, nothing's a hard rule. I know there's some work, maintenance, and stuff, but I was going to say you can always make a hotel if you want. Another nice car in the Vermont Gateway. That's pretty cool. Alright, so I just found more high cubes. I thought I was done, but I was just getting started, I guess. We got Western Pacific. We got a few of that scheme. Very nice Penn Central there. I like that. And here as well. Got a Pennsylvania Railroad. New York Central. It's a nice car. Norfolk and Western. That's cool. Yeah, I didn't see that one yet in my travels. Another PRR. And yet another PRR with the two sets of doors. Alright, here's some trailer kits. Now this one's a Western Pacific, as is this one, and that's pretty nice. We got Penn Central there. So yeah, some more cool stuff. Alright, we got a tanker there, brewing through. Uh, Pennsylvania. Another CBNQ. And another Pennsylvania hopper there. Uh, these are always great. We have valleys with loads. And finally we have, it looks like an older style Redding hopper there. Alright, here's some Walther's 32 foot uh, van trailers. Um, yeah. These look pretty nice. Looks like there's some, uh, like the, yeah, you gotta put on the wheels and everything. But yeah, they're cool. And if you guys need some stuff to run uh, your trailers on, stick around because we got some flats too. Alright, here I got a corn silo. That's what it says on there at least. It's not super descriptive, but you guys know what's up. All right, we got a, this is from Bachman car repair shop. Okay, here I got some track and transformers. Uh, you guys can usually always find used track at my shop for uh, really good prices. And the transformers, like like these guys, I always test them, and if they work good, five bucks. You know, I'm not again trying to get top dollar for everything. You know, I'm just trying to help you guys out. So I'll go through this, but it looks pretty much just like track and different things like that so we got a got a connector but you know nothing too rare in here except for these that's pretty cool lamps yeah, if you guys need lamps we'll we'll check them out all right so we're moving on to our final thing next all right so we got a bunch of trailer flats from Walther's here this is uh, TTX old paint. I'm gonna try to get through this stuff in a timely fashion, but it does involve kind of peeking inside so we can see what we got here. Okay, here we got Union Pacific. That's cool. And I should see, say these are 89 foot. Alright, next up is uh, another TTX Old. Let me see if it's the same number. Yes, it is the same number as the, the Tuscan, the first one there. Okay. Two more like that, then I got some, oh no, I have one more like that, and it's a 1960s trailer train scheme. We'll check it out if I can get into here. Actually, this one seems like it was still sealed. Yeah, this guy is new. There we go. 
Yep, trailer train. Yeah, it really looks like a project for what it is, but I'd say it's worth it. You know, I don't come across flat cars a lot, so this is a big day for me. All right, we're going to throw off a couple of these, but uh, well, first I'll just dramatically roll these into the camera here. So these are all also trailers from Walther's. And we got a good pile of them. So let's check it out. We got the 60s era TTX. The whole kit in here. Old school TTX there, ready to be assembled. We got all kinds here. I think I'll just kind of go through it so I don't take forever. We got an ATTX. This one's a uh, 1980s modern era. Got TTX here. 1980s. So another TTX 1980s. An ATTX 1980s. That one was a 75 foot actually. There's a 60s era. Or I guess they're all 75 foot. I don't know what I'm saying. <laughs> uh, 60s era TTX. 60s era. TTX. 60s era. I'm not sure how old these are. 60s era TTX. I'm not sure when Walters brought these out. And we got a uh, 60s era's ATTX. All right, there you have it. So that's that's what we got. I'm going to take a look through all of these and kind of, you know, make sure that they're up to quality. But they all seem like they're uh, new and in good shape. So, uh, yeah, I want to thank you guys for joining me today. And definitely let me know if you're interested in, in anything. The best way to contact me is by email. Uh, you can reach me at Corey at trainsinthevalley.com. And if you want to see this video before it gets on YouTube, just go onto our website, trainsinthevalley.com, sign up for the email newsletter, because uh, those people are going to start getting this um, maybe up to a week before everyone else, just as an exclusive treat. Um, I'm going to kind of streamline how I deal with uh, collections, because we have a lot of collections coming in uh, for the rest of the year. Just seems like every time I buy one, another person contacts me that has some stuff. So, hey, that's what's great. That's what keeps products coming in the door and going out the door. So, we really do appreciate it. Um, we've been a shop four years now, and we just uh, grow at a rapid speed every year. And it's just um, all thanks to you. So, I really appreciate it. Um, I believe that's all I had to say. So, enjoy your day, and uh, I'll see you guys soon.